Hello, and today we are going to go over an easy way to do some color shifting effects on your miniatures. Color shift or a color transition is pretty much the same method employed when we are layering on our highlights, but rather than putting on a lighter color than our base coat or previous layer, we are actually going to add a different color. It's very simple to do as long as you keep one thing in mind, and that's Roy G. Biv. Roy G. Biv is the color spectrum in order. Hopefully you know that. So that's red, orange, yellow, and so on and so forth. And so as we do our color shifting on our purple robe that we started off with, uh, first color we need to add to that is red, which in this case is vermilion. Our first mixture with the vermilion added gave us a, a bit more purple effect on our bluish purple that we had before. So we're going to add it one more time to go a little bit more red. Now depending on the effect that you want to do, we can go to the point where we're just painting straight vermilion. If you want to paint a complete rainbow pattern on a surface. However, you need to have a fairly large surface to do that transition to have all those colors. Uh, we're just gonna add a little bit of the color in mind. So in this case, we're adding a little bit of red to add a red tone to our purple. Then once we achieve a little bit of a red tone, now we're gonna add a bit of an orange tone. That's our O in our Roy G. Biv. In this case, I'm adding Parasite Brown, which is a good uh, rust colored orange color uh, because I don't want to go too extreme. I don't want a bright rainbow pattern on our wizard here. I want colors that are a little bit more muted. So we're going to be doing some brownish colors, mixing in some ochres so we don't end up with a, a full-blown rainbow wizard. Our Parasite Brown was a little bit too soft. I needed something a little bit more orange so I'm adding in a little bit of light orange to our mixture. An important thing to note, in this case, I'm mixing all these colors together. So this is light orange mixed with Parasite Brown, mixed with Vermilion, mixed with Hexed Lichen. Our final color is Filthy Brown, which is a mustard yellow color. And you can see here, we're working on the final highlights at this point. And all these colors have been applied with the same method that we would normally apply a regular highlight. So we're working towards the top of the hood and the cape. This final uh, color here is basically an edge highlight, picking out all those tight folds. Uh, so we're ignoring regular highlighting and doing it instead with our color spectrum here. For the cloak, we covered most of the colors in the color spectrum. However, we ignored green and blue, so we're going to use those two on the robes. Started off with dark Prussian blue, which was a little bit too dark to mix in our green color, so added a coat with some dark blue gray mixed in. And that will give us, uh, make it easier for us to mix in our next color, which is uniform green. Now we're still using the color spectrum to paint the robe here, but instead of going in the order that we did on the robe, I'm actually reversing it here. We are starting with B and we're actually going backwards to G in our Roy G Biv. With the robes, I'm only doing two highlights, mixing in flat yellow to our previous mixture. So again, we have four colors here. Every previous color is still in the mix. I don't want to take this far farther because we use so many colors on the 
uh, cloak. So I want to keep these two areas distinct and not uh, mix the colors up. That's about it for the color transitioning. Uh, you can see it's fairly simple. It's just replacing regular highlight colors with whatever colors next in the color spectrum. And the process is the exact same. We have thin layers of paint. We slowly build them up. Uh, it's just a matter of uh, changing the colors every so often to whatever's next in line. Using every color in the rainbow uh, does make adding the little details on the miniature a little difficult because what colors do you use? Uh, in this case, I'm going for red for his little dragon friend here uh, because the red's not too prominent on the miniature. We mixed in the red to our purple, but we didn't. We never went to a, a solid red color. So I can, uh, allow to, I can allow the miniature to have a little bit more red because that's very muted on this miniature. The main base coat color for our dragon is Scarlet, which we first darkened with uh, black red, and then I darkened it again uh, for the second coat with Gory Red, which is a lighter color red. And now to that mixture, adding the filthy brown color. Remember, once again, that's a, a mustard yellow color. Uh, it's a little bit more on the muted side. Uh, however, it was on the palette, and we're making use of the paint that we have on the palette, which is good, rather than cracking open a different bottle. And just a note, going a little extreme on the highlights with the filthy brown, uh, because we have the color shift on the mage, I want a, a good amount of contrast on the dragon, so he is also uh, very dynamic and sticks out from all the colors that we used on the wizard. And there you go, very easy to do, it took me just a little over an hour to paint this miniature. Now there's several different ways that you can do a color shift or transition on a miniature. This is the easiest way because we are following the color spectrum and we are going from letter to letter in Roy G. Biv. If you do that, the colors mix together very easily. Now, depending on what colors you want to use on a miniature, this won't necessarily work. For example, if you want to have a color shift between yellow and blue, well, that won't work because mixing those two colors together you're gonna get green. So you would have to layer them instead. First put on the blue or first put on the yellow, let it dry, and then glaze or layer the other color on top of that so they don't mix. However, that is a topic for a different video. I hope this helps, gives you an idea of something to try. Uh, instead of just doing regular highlights, every once in a while you can do a little color shift depending on what you're painting. But uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. He maintains an appliance. Da-da-da-da!